They always sneak up behind me, so I get a little <laughs> Now, there's only five stones. We're going to play a little bit of a game today, and it has to do with uh, these five stones, okay? And uh, these stones represent clues, all right? And I have five clues that I'm going to give you, and I want to see if you can guess the Bible story that I'm talking about based on these five clues that I'm going to give, Okay? Now, here's the first clue, so we'll take the first stone and we'll put it in the bag. The Bible story that I'm talking about, see, I told you. <laughs> the Bible story I'm talking about has a Philistine in it. That's the first clue. Anybody know? No? All right. Where's the second stone? Who has the second stone? You got the stone? Can we put it in the bag? Okay. The second clue is that this is from the book of 1 Samuel. Mm, wow. I'm sure you read 1 Samuel a lot, right? <laughs> Actually, 1 Samuel is exciting. There's some real cool stuff that happens back in that Old Testament. All right, so there's a Philistine in it, and it's from 1 Samuel. All right, who's got the third stone? Let's give the third clue. Third clue is that in this story, there is a shepherd boy. Okay, we'll get there. We're at third clue. Shepherd boy. Anybody guess what the story is from the Bible? Okay, a Philistine. Stories in 1 Samuel. And a shepherd boy. All right. All right, let's go to the fourth clue. The shepherd boy grows up and he becomes a king. That's pretty cool, isn't it? A shepherd boy, a guy who herds sheep. Ending up becoming a king? Anybody want to take a guess? No, it's a story from the Bible. The whole Bible is about God. No, not Jesus. It's Old Testament. Okay. Okay, can I have the rock? I need that fifth clue. All right. Okay. Now, we've got... Actually, the fifth clue is that there are five stones as part of the story. Does that help? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was afraid I'd get up and they'd guess it like just, you know, just like that. So. Okay, now let me fill out things a little bit more. The young shepherd boy with the five stones who becomes king, his name is David. David, that's his name. Okay, the Philistine is really, really big. In fact, the Philistine is a giant. Now, do you know the story? What's the story? No. The story is David and... Goliath. Fantastic. David and Goliath. Now, what happens in the story of David and Goliath? Yeah, Goliath is big and tall. David volunteers to fight him. Well, uh, David doesn't have to fight with ro rocks, but he tries on the king's armor, and he can't lift it. He can't lift the king's sword. He can't wear the king's armor. So David uses what he has. He uses a slingshot. He picks up five smooth stones, and with one stone and one sling, what's he do? Yeah, hits Goliath right in the forehead. Goliath falls down. David is able to kill him, and David is able to win the victory. Now, with stories like that from the Bible, there's two things we need to remember. One is that most of the time these stories are taught to teach us a bigger picture. Like, we face some pretty big Goliaths in our life. There are some times when problems are so big, we don't know whether we can handle them. And there are ways to handle them. One of them is prayer, but one of them is to rely on the strength of God. Okay, so that's the big part of the story, okay? 
But the other thing important to remember about this story is that it is a story that actually happened. That David and Goliath really did happen. And David was a real boy, shepherd, who became a king. King David, the greatest, oh, second greatest king in the entire Bible. Does anybody know who the first greatest king in the Bible is? I don't. Jesus. King Jesus. Thanks for coming up.